Wait, wait, just hold on a sec. Three months and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now wait, wait a minute. We've been commander. That must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> you would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no need, no need. <laughs> Surrounded by traitors and fools! What do you say we really ruined this guy's day? Do it. Run out! Search the perimeter! Go! All right, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. Sniper rifle up here. Careful, Nate. Looks like they left a couple of sentries behind. Okay, kid. It's showtime. I'm not paying us enough of this shit. Shut up with you. I'm sick of your complaining. Get your hands up! Man, this Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> yeah, they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Is that supposed to mean something? It's me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. You must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani Stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo is he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail. Back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead. Oh, crap. Spread out. Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Well, I'm on the over here. You well that's Spread convenient. Out.
Got some for you. Gotcha, Sully.
Should be this way. Sully, look at these stones. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello. What do we have here? With any luck, it's the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? Wow, this place must be thousands of years old. At least. Down this way. Wow. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Ugh, there must be hundreds of bodies down here. Look at their teeth. They're all black. I'd think they're all that way. Ah! Ah! Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they were shipwrecked. More resin. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Ooh. Wait a minute. This is blood. It's everywhere. Looks like a real massacre. All right, let's follow the blood stains. We'll see if they lead somewhere. Stand at this wall. Yeah, that's odd. This moves a little. Sully, help me out. Here we go again with the pushing. I think I hurt myself. The trail leads in here. More bodies. Maybe I'm crazy, but it looks like they all killed each other. Come on, Nate. You're just getting spooked. Wow. Look at this. What do we have here? Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a purba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Hey, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah. 
Except it's not just a field of temples anymore, it's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. Oh, <laughs> right. Nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya.